Hey everyone, it's Matt, your daily advocate, otherwise known as the underdog advocate. Are the days and the ideas of $2,000 stimulus checks a long lost memory? Or is it a field full of daisies and roses just getting ready to bloom? Well, all of that's actually going to be determined here over the next few days and couple weeks. We have a lot to talk about, so let's get right into it and talk about the $2,000 stimulus check idea. But hey, if you're new here, welcome. My name is Matt. I'm back on a daily basis as your daily advocate and the underdog advocate because there's a ton of information right now. It's very confusing a lot of times, so I come back in these short videos to distill everything down and help you navigate this confusing time. So thank you so much for your support. And if you're returning, welcome back. I really do appreciate your continued support and loyalty here on the channel. If you haven't done so, right below the video, there's that button that says subscribe. Please make sure to hit that. All right, cool. Now that you're subscribed, thank you so much. I really do appreciate it. Let's talk about these $2,000 stimulus checks and where we stand and where we can expect to go here over the coming days and weeks. All right, just a really quick recap. Remember the $2,000 stimulus check amendment that passed through the House the other day? It went over to the Senate and nothing happened with it. Mitch McConnell came out with his counteroffer. Again, nothing happened with it. Well, that was basically the end of the $2,000 stimulus checks at that time. However, they may be coming back stronger than ever. And here are the reasons why. Tomorrow, reason number one, tomorrow, the runoff Senate race in Georgia. Tomorrow is going to be very pivotal, determining the fate of the Senate tomorrow in Georgia. Now, let's look at this. Let's say we come out of the election and maybe the power has switched or the control in the Senate has switched to Democrats. Well, that would be massive as far as it comes to stimulus. We would likely expect a massive monster stimulus package to be coming down the pipeline in within the next couple weeks here, probably as soon as late January. So tomorrow in Georgia is going to be very, very important to determine uh, what happens in the Senate, who contain or who maintains or who takes control of the Senate going forward. So tomorrow is going to be very, very important. We'll need to watch that very, very closely. So that's going to determine the rate of stimulus. Are we going to see stimulus massive? How far is it going to reach? How big is it going to be? How fast are we going to get it? That's going to be determined likely by tomorrow's results. So we'll watch that. Also, reason number two. On Wednesday, Congress is going to be uh, joining together and they're going to be coming into session to certify the results of the electoral college votes. Now, again, that's probably going to cause a bunch more drama on Wednesday, but that's what we can expect to see on Wednesday. So again, another very important day to see what comes out of Congress on Wednesday. Now, another thing too, we have to remember, the original amendment to change the stimulus checks from $600 in the last bill that President Trump signed just a few days ago, the amendment came through to change the stimulus checks from $600 to $2,000. However, by the time we get the next stimulus package that we can anticipate will probably happen maybe as early as late January, early-ish February, is when we're likely going to be talking about the next stimulus package, next stimulus proposal, all of that business will be coming through. Now, by the time that that actually happens, it was, we expect we'll probably contain stimulus checks. How big? Well, considering the last stimulus package had $600 stimulus checks, which was basically just meant to be a bridge to get us to the next stimulus package, will we see the $2,000 stimulus checks once again? Well, considering everything we've been talking about, I think it could probably be highly likely that we will see the $2,000 stimulus checks argument come up once again, simply because at that time, many people in Congress may be arguing, well, hey, we were supposed to amend the $600 stimulus checks to $2,000. It never happened. So rather than giving people the additional $1,400 to bring them up to the $2,000, let's just give everyone $2,000 in the next stimulus check. I would be willing to bet that that could possibly be an argument that we see come to the forefront here in the next few weeks. All right, let's bring us up to the next reason and the next argument for bringing back these $2,000 stimulus checks, which is the inauguration on January 20th. So just two weeks after this, uh, the Congress comes together to certify the Electoral College vote results, 
on Wednesday, January 6th, when they're going to be doing that, two weeks later, January 20th, we have the inauguration, which everybody, so many people in Congress have said, Nancy Pelosi, Chuck Schumer, Mitch McConnell, Kevin McCarthy, uh, all these people, I'm pretty sure even Steve Mnuchin has said it at some point, that this last stimulus package is just a bridge to get us until the end of January. Well, here we are in early January. <laughs> the end of January is really not that far away. It's going to be here sooner than we think. At that point, we are going to be talking about stimulus in um, a lot more detail once again. We're probably going to see a lot more stimulus proposals, stimulus pla uh, packages hitting the floor, all of this stuff. But like I said, all eyes are coming down to Georgia tomorrow. That is going to determine, like I said just a couple minutes ago, that is going to determine the size of the next stimulus package. How big is it going to be? What's it going to reach? How many people is it going to reach? What type of stimulus checks will it contain? What other assistance will it contain? How big will it be? How fast will we get it? How far will it reach? That is going to be determined likely by the results that we're going to see out of Georgia tomorrow. At that point, Whoever takes control or whoever, if anybody, if Republicans maintain control of the Senate or if Democrats uh, uh, can t uh, take control of the Senate, I would imagine a lot of those people in Congress are probably going to start working on their next stimulus proposal based on the results. They're probably going to start working something up on the back end, kind of in their own little private groups. They're going to come together and uh, start working out that next stimulus package so that as soon as the inauguration hits, right after that, they're going to start throwing this thing on the table and say, here. Here's what we've come up with. Here's what we need. Let's get this thing into action. So long story short, the $2,000 stimulus checks are far from over. We can probably expect to see something similar to that. If we don't see $2,000 stimulus checks, we're probably going to see something very similar to that here in probably just a matter of a couple weeks. Probably late January, I would expect to start seeing the next stimulus proposals starting to hit the table. So we'll have to see. The next couple days here are going to be very, very interesting coming out of Congress and Georgia and everything else. So either way, I'll continue to keep coming back here and I'll help all of you navigate this time. I want to make sure that I keep you up to speed with everything going on. Not only that, I want to make sure that I can help all of you grab the money that you have coming due to you in all of these programs that have been released over the last few months here. Um, and available. There's so much out there right now. There's a lot of details and it's easy to miss things. I want to make sure that I help you grab whatever you have coming due to you, whether it's stimulus checks, whether it is rental assistance, rental relief, whether it is um, uh, stimulus checks for your dependents, um, all kinds of stuff, increases to your SNAP benefits. Um, there's so much stuff going on right now. Maybe it's PPP or EIDL grants, all this stuff. There's so much out there right now. So either way, I'll continue to help you out through this time. Like I said, if you haven't done so already, make sure to hit the subscribe button. I will be back a little bit later with another video. And um, if you want, feel free to share my videos with any of your friends, family, social media, or anybody that could benefit from this information. Thanks again for your support. I'll catch you again in just a few hours. Thanks everybody. I'll see you.